Hey guys, so um, I'm going to be putting up the forensic astrology, and again, I'm not an astrologist, so I'm just learning, I'm just going to be repeating what I was told by my astrologist friend. Um, so the reason why I decided to go ahead and do this, because I wasn't going to, was because I had a dream last night, and well, actually, I've had a couple dreams of summer recently. So one, it was kind of weird, I was doing something on the computer, and like she was coming in through the computer. It was really odd. And I was like, huh, okay. But it made me think of summer. And then, um, and then in the morning, uh, yesterday morning, I had a dream where I was actually doing this forensic astrology. I was trying to record a video and I accident deleted it. And, um, but I was literally on the map. I, could, I was following the Saturn lineup. It was kind of weird. And then what was even weirder was my grandpa was outside with my Uncle Donnie. And there was a kid that was inside with me. Didn't look like Summer or anything like that. But my my grandpa was like, that's your Uncle Donnie's child. Well, my Uncle Donnie's passed. My grandpa's passed. So I thought it was kind of weird because that's also Summer's dad's name. So... I don't know, there's some kind of symbolism in there. So I figured, well, maybe I need to do this forensic astrology thing for her and get that put up. Um, and again, this is only forensic astrology, entertainment purpose only. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. I'm just going to go over. It's not going to be a whole lot. It's just basically like a little bit of what I know that validates the readings and the lines that we would look at. Um, so I have these new lights up. It shouldn't be turning on right now. Um, I have them up here and I have one there and I have one over here. So that's interesting that that one lit up. They light up when they're touched. So anyways, um, I decided to do this for you because I, I it keeps coming up. So, um, all right, let me just pull this up. And again, I'm not an astrologist. I'm just going to basically repeat what she told me. So that's my ability. And so for those of you that don't know what forensic astrology is, um, it's just based on sacred geometry. It goes along with our birth charts and our and our blueprints. And a lot of about um, forensic astrology can tell you a lot about a crime. It can tell you where body is located. Um, you know, it's based on the planets and all of that. So um, I'm trying to learn it myself. It's going to take me a while to learn it, but until I learn it, I'm getting help. So I'm kind of learning things a little bit backwards. Um, and I'm going to go back to basics and learn, you know, start from the beginning, but I'm still kind of learning things backwards, just the way that it's happening. Um, I tend to do that in my life. So I'm going to, uh, see if I can put this full screen. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. Okay, that'll work. Um, this light keeps going off, and the ball just went off, too. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um, and it is Mercury retrograde, so it is a good time to be having, like, to be going back over old cases. Well, not Mercury retrograde till the first, but we're in the shadow period. So, that might be why this is coming up again. Um, all right. So... I'm going to start with... So, let's see, that's not, I'll zoom in a little bit. So, I believe this is the Mars line right here. Nope, that's the sun. I can't, okay, so I can't get to the Mars line because that little home thing's in the way. So, the Mars line, from my understanding, is about basically what happened. Um, it does follow my reading as to something escalated possibly in the house or in the front yard or started in the house and ended in the front yard. I always see Summer running, so I find it interesting. Maybe she was trying to run away. Every time I think of Summer, I see her running. Um, so the, that's basically what the Mars is, is that something has happened that was aggressive in the house and ended up outside um, because it's like at zero degrees Mars. So that that's like something happened in the house or right outside in the front. Um, that was an escalation um, out of anger, um, sometimes a weapon. So that tells us, again, that who I've thought was involved all along allegedly is involved. 
Um, and if we go back to the card reading I just did, uh, it kind of validates that. So the two most important lines that we want to look at is the moon line for Summer because she was un she was under five at the time she went missing. It's 27 degrees of Leo. So that line goes... I have been meaning to do this all day, so I'm a little late <laughs> with stuff. Let's see. Oh, here's the Mars line. Now that I... No, it's still not letting me do it. Oh, there we go. There's the Mars line. So that's at two degrees of Leo. So she said it, she told me it was zero degrees, but I think she's just trying to remember. So two degrees of Leo. So still very short. So again, in the house or right outside. Um, so this is the moon line. That's that's a line that we would um we would want to focus on. Okay, because she was under under two at the time. Or under five at the time. I'm sorry. Um, so this does go into the front yard. All right. And this would be location of bodies. All right. So she said to focus on the moon line and the Saturn line mm -hmm. in this case. Um, and I'll kind of go over the lines of what I know what they are. But this would be the moon line. Again, children under five. And what's interesting is I think in a few of my readings, I felt like she was put down something. Um, her readings are all over the place. I don't know if that's because I'm picking up on other energies that are, you know, um, because of my interconnects. I don't know if it's a collective or what, but they tend to be all over the place. I tend to have a hard time getting a good read on her stuff. Um, the only thing I have not tried with summer is something with a sitter, which I may decide to do. Um, so, because the one thing I do remember is being put down into something, hearing metal and hearing drips, uh, well keeps coming in Dylan. And then if we look at her last name, sometimes that's a, a sign of where people can be. Our names are known as syntax. It can spell out things that have to do with our, um, what happens in cases. And I just find it interesting. So she could be in one of those covered up wells. It could be something like that. Um, but here is her moon line and you can always extend it. We didn't extend it that far. Um, so I'd be curious what's right there. Uh, but we didn't extend it. So if you extended it, you know, um, it would go off of after the front direction and off into these woods over here, which kind of doesn't jive with me. Um, I always feel she's kind of on the property or really close. Okay. So the Mercury line goes into this church over here. Now, <clears throat> she did her research and she said that, that they did go to that church. But we've heard they didn't go to that church. So if anybody knows, they can let us know. Usually the Mercury line rules like uh, communications, like gossip, like stuff like that. So they might know more, basically. Um, if that's the right church. All right. So I think this is a Saturn line. This is probably the, yep, this is a Saturn line. This is the one that I was following in my dream. Um, so this is 13 degrees of Aquarius. Um, what's interesting is it does seem to go right into this, like, hollow here or whatever that is that's what it looks like to me but i'd be curious again if there's not any sort of because i their property is pretty big she's either on the property or close to the property line but also she was saying something about electrical in her chart so like an electric fence or an electric towers things like that um i don't know why this thing is like Okay, I did that. Um, so electric fence, electric shower, something electrical. Also, she had brought up something about toxic, something toxic. So I don't think that he would put all the work to put her in any kind of septic tank, in my opinion. Um, just it depends because knowing how they are here, it's kind of a pain. But um, I think it was more of like something that would be easier where she'd never be found. Uh, but anyways, the Saturn line was the one I was following in my dream, and I got it to go, like, 3D. Um, 
Oh, so I figured that out now. <laughs> so pause. If we go back to this, the moon line here, this is where it goes. All right. And then here's the Saturn line. All right. And it goes up that way. So it could be anywhere along this line. It's about 90. It's about 90 percent of it being like right on the line or very close to the line. OK. Um, Jupiter uh, and Uranus. I'm pretty. Oh, no, that's Neptune. So she didn't go over Neptune with me. OK, so we were talking about Jupiter and Uranus being next to each other, but they're not in this one. Jupiter can kind of expand on things from my understanding. It can bring luck, it, but it can also, it can expand on, on something. So it can expand on this Saturn line. Um, I don't think we went, we didn't go over the other lines here. Because she said to focus on just, um, and she didn't put a lot of, because I wasn't going to share this. So there's not a lot of, um, I know that it, it, it Chiron was where there was evidence before in um, Elijah's case. That was one that they looked for evidence. So I don't know. It, um, and then Uranus is like shocking events, which is interesting because it's next to this moon. Well, not far from the moon line. There's the Venus line. I know Venus is usually... I'm not going to talk about stuff I don't know and guess. So, um, yeah, basically, I just want to put this out because the dream that I had. So, here's the moon line. Come on, dude. Um, okay. So, this is a moon line right here. All right, and then this is, if I can, if she wants to tell me more information, then this is the Pluto, um, 26 degrees of Capricorn, and then here is the Saturn line. So, I don't know if there's a, another way here, another direction um, to get to this area, because... I know that I saw them going up and going to like a gate or something um, in one of my readings. So that would be the areas that I guess she said to focus on most likely. Now, what was interesting was in Riley's chart, which I didn't share. It was Uranus, which usually you don't follow. And Saturn was, or Jupiter was next to it. So it was like shocking event is like Uranus. And then the Jupiter expanded on the shocking events, making, you know, because everybody was in shock. Everybody was, it was got really big, really fast. So, so that's why both of those ones went into the water, which was after my reading. And that's not normally the ones that you follow. She said it was weird. The other lines didn't go in there, but it makes sense because it, Uranus depicts a shocking event and then jupiter expands on that shocking event so jupiter usually expands things um So, yeah, this is, it can be anywhere along this line from the back of the property and onwards. I don't know if there's another, I don't know how big their property is. If there's another road. Um, be curious, again, if there's any wells around here, like the kind that you just cover over, not the, not the ones like I have. Or, because um, I always hear dripping water and kind of a metal sound. Um and then we have her last name. It's in her last name. So, which can sometimes depict things. There's, <clears throat> syntax is, is pretty accurate sometimes if it's done right. Can't remember if I got any junk in any of my stuff. I don't know. Um, it's kind of hard to continue doing readings on it because I, like, know so much. And, you know... If she's either on or very close to that property. This, I wonder what's right here on the moon line. I 
so that's basically what she wanted me to focus on. Um, that's kind of all we went through today as there was a shocking event that happened in the home and because Mars is right here. It happened in the home or close to the outside of the property um, where there was like some some kind of anger or something escalated. So th it doesn't depict anybody taking her, um, which basically is what I've always thought. I've never thought she was abducted. I've never gotten she was abducted. I feel like the people in the house know where she is allegedly. Um, and so the the astrology chart does back up my readings as far as that's concerned as far as um you know what happening of what i saw now <clears throat> i didn't i didn't really see, i always see candace allegedly um but there was a time where i did feel a male there so mars can depict a male um but it's never really clear in her readings i don't know why there's something that seems to make it foggy, unclear, and again, when a lot of people put a lot of different feelings or emotions towards a case or thoughts or put things out there, it can really have an effect on those that pick up around it. So, you know, a lot of times we'll pick up on things that are being said or whatnot. Um, I, I never did that with as far as, like, what I've always said the same people were involved. I never felt she was kidnapped. I never felt she was sold off somewhere. I think it's made to look like that. But um, in my opinion, this is where the lines are. And you can extend these lines. Like not, you know, I always feel like she's either on the property or very close to it. In the last few readings I've done. And I think if you check the car reading, it kind of validates that. It validates on that property. It also validates who I feel is involved. Um, so that was a really interesting card pool. Um, I think I've gotten more cards since then, so I might revisit, but I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to do this because I had a dream about doing it, but my focus was the Saturn line for some reason in that dream. So I just want to put it out there that that was my, my focus in the dream. I don't know if it means anything. It's just a dream, but I still found it interesting. So hopefully this will help, um, in some way, shape or form. And maybe if I do it with a sitter, I'll get something more clear about it. This, this this case is very hard to get a clear read on. I think that's why psychics and mediums are all over the place. Again, they're probably picking up on each other and, you know, the collective and all of that. I've tried to stay as focused as I can. I never changed who I felt was involved. Um, allegedly, I feel like the parents know. Allegedly. I, that's always been my thought. So, um, they just were really good at hiding it, surprisingly, because of who they are. But... This is all alleged, in my opinion, and not factual. But, yeah, you guys get my idea. So, all right. I hope this was helpful. I, I didn't go deep. I just was wanting to put the basics out, the important stuff. I've been trying to do it all day. So, uh, maybe it'll give somebody something to go on. That's my hope. 